Before we get started, I just want to give credit to the creator of the mod, Game Informer, over on Nexus Mods. Link is in the description for this mod. It's time to take a break from suit mods to show you a different type of mod all together. Well, right now I am using the mod for the final suit from No Way Home. I think it looks rather amazing, but there has been a ton of Spider-Man games. Not all of them have been good. One that was good besides this, of course, is Shattered Dimensions. Maybe you've been wanting a remake of Shattered Dimensions. What if I could tell you that you could turn your Marvel's Spider-Man PC game to look almost exactly like Shattered Dimensions. That is what you're seeing here now. And this texture mod brings out all the nostalgia. And it's not that old of nostalgia because the game came out during the 360 era. So it's not too long ago, but I love what this shader has done to the game. I haven't showcased as many shaders as suit mods uh, because clearly the suit mods are way more exciting. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a ton of really fun shaders also. That's 100% still a thing. If you don't remember Shattered Dimensions, I highly encourage that you seek out a way to play that game. That game, I stand by this, is probably one of the best Spider-Man games ever. I don't think it's better than this by any means. That is not what I'm saying. But as far as Spider-Man games go, there has certainly been a lot worse. Of course, this shader kind of makes things look a little weird. If you go into the pause menu, it has a weird tint and a weird hue to it. But in actual gameplay, if you are a fan of those games that I'm talking about, Beanox for a while, they, they I think they maybe eventually, I don't know if they got tired of doing Spider-Man. I believe they're just on Call of Duty now, but they were making really good Spider-Man games for a while. I think Shattered Dimensions was one of them. And, and there was one more. They did a bunch. I think maybe they did like four or five Spider-Man games, but Shattered Dimensions was definitely my favorite. And this shader allows me to relive some of the fun moments I have with that game. Now, the swinging here is still the swinging. We're not changing the mechanics or anything like that. But the look of this, it almost looks cell shaded. And I saw that in one of the comments for, I forgot which one of the mod videos that I posted. They said that it'd be cool to have a cell shaded look to this game. And while not exactly cell shaded, this isn't really far off from it. You guys definitely should let me know what you think in the comments below about this shader. I think it's fun to mess around with. I wouldn't want to play the entire game like this because I do love the look of the original game. But the good thing about these mods is that all you have to do is press one button, boom, and it's back to normal the way you expect the game to look. One button press again, and we go right back to this very unique look. At least we'll say that you might not love the look. I know that if you don't have any nostalgia for these games, you might not love the look. But one thing that you probably would appreciate is just a chance to tinker and mess with the visuals. There are some really good shader mods. It's getting crazier by the day. Uh, I've been a little bit busy. So the suit mods uh, taking a break from them today. I've done so many of them. <laughs> I've done seven of them this week. So that's a lot of suits that I've looked at, but they continue to get better. We actually just now began to get suit mods that are more than just uh, color changes. That is barely starting to happen where it is more texture and brand new suits in the game. That is happening more and more now. It's really going to start getting exciting soon, and I fully plan on covering some of that stuff in the very near future. This week is going to be an exciting one for mods. Another thing that mods are, are really focused on right now is changing the intro to the game. If you're playing the game on PC, you know the intro is kind of annoying. You can skip it by pressing escape, of course. But what I did, and I won't show it here because of copyright stuff. But I just made it so that the intro for when I start the game is just the intro from the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. And that's amazing. Ah, I can never get these. Okay, I got it. I have such a hard time with those sometimes. 
that don't give you quite enough time, but hey, we got that one. Make sure to let me know in the comments what you think of this suit mod. Are you a fan of it? Are you going to give it a try? Is it just not for you? And it's okay if it's not. It, it doesn't have to be for everyone. But since I did like what Beanox did for a pretty long time, I at least wanted to check it out. And I thought that it looked different enough that it'd be cool to at least make one video on it. You do need reshade to do it in case you're wondering like, hey, how do you do it? There is this program called reshade. Then you just drag a file that you download from Nexus Mods. I'll have a link in the description. And that's pretty much it, I think. <laughs> you don't have to do a whole lot besides that. And here we go, man. This is the reshade to make it a little bit more like Shattered Dimensions. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm not going to try to push this to eight minutes or anything, but I do hope you've enjoyed the look that we have taken. Thanks once again for all the support this week. It has been fantastic. And if you guys keep on watching it, I will keep on producing these mod videos for Spider-Man because honestly, the game is really fun. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You guys have been amazing. And that's it. I'm going to see you soon. Bye.